to start creating content as a dental hygiene student, as a dental hygienist, anything related to dental hygiene, but you want to turn on that camera and hit record. I'm going to give you 10 tips on how to become a dental hygiene YouTuber. So here on my phone, I wrote down 10 tips that'll help you guys become dental hygiene YouTubers. My first tip is you have to pick a name for your channel and put really cool channel art that will attract your audience. Any name that's just very simple and represents you is a perfect name for your channel. If you want to just hone in and just focus on dental hygiene, you can put something related with teeth. You can put something related with dental hygiene, like Talia Dental Hygiene. You put on your channel art pictures of teeth, pictures of you in uniform, things like that, so your audience knows exactly that your channel is about dental hygiene. Tip number two, start filming. Just start recording you can record on your way to school you can record anywhere you like just start recording start recording and putting content on your channel that you feel is relevant to dental hygiene tip number three i wish i would have done this when i was in dental hygiene school and talk to the chair of the program and ask her if it was okay if i recorded during clinic during lab um, the reason being is because one of my professors, I love her very much, she taught radiology and I was able to record in the radiology lab and it was a lot of fun. I gave informative information to my audience. You want your audience to see what you're doing in dental hygiene school. I understand I had a lot of trouble filming in clinic just because of HIPAA policy and certain re regulations, but if your professors are up for you creating content and sharing it with the college, it's also content for you that you can put in your videos. Tip number four, upload as much as you possibly can. I understand that, you know, at starting up as a YouTuber, you are not going to know what your audience wants to see. I, for instance, I would put up very personal vlogs when I first started dental hygiene. I put up a lot of my spoken word and my art stuff that I would do like freelance and underground work just because I didn't know what my niche was. And I'm not saying that you necessarily need a niche, but you clicked on this channel because you wanna focus on dental hygiene. For instance, if you are already a dental hygienist and you wanna create a channel and you wanna create dental hygiene content, I would ask your boss if you can bring your camera into work. Make sure that you ask your patient if it is okay for you to record in the room while you're doing a cleaning. The reason why I have not posted such content is because a i'm not working right now and b i didn't get to ask my professors i was really shy and i wish that i did so this is just tip this is just a tip that i would give to you guys is put yourself out there and just be active upload as much as you can and if this is something that you're passionate about you love dental hygiene it should be very easy for you be patient you're gonna see your audience grow over time. It's not gonna happen overnight. This is like a full-time job. So if you're a dental hygiene student and you wanna create a YouTube channel specifically for dental hygiene, you are gonna realize that you're not gonna have as much time as you want unless you really prioritize and schedule a really nice schedule. You can create content and study for your exams you are a dental hygienist and you have a flexible schedule it will be really easy for you and really cool for you to create a lot of content so if you're creating a lot of content your thumbnails look nice your channel art looks nice and you're putting valuable content you will see more growth in your channel but just be patient it will come you will grow your audience you will grow a great support system and it just it takes time and it's hard work but if you want this you want to create a youtube channel for dental hygiene you absolutely can do it small rewards the small rewards for me were seeing dental hygiene students dental hygiene just family commenting on my videos commenting on my posts and telling me giving me feedback telling me how much they appreciate what i posted how much they love my content and just even telling me about their own dental hygiene experience. So those are the rewards that you as a beginner, as a dental hygiene YouTuber really have to cherish because those are the things that I cherish. So 
I think just looking at the small rewards and appreciating your audience is what's gonna help you grow your dental hygiene YouTube channel. I believe I posted one video, uh, maybe a couple videos, like I had a, a couple vlogs of me studying and I posted a video, I posted a video of me studying for maxillofacial anatomy and I got good feedback on it, but you want your audience to understand what you're going through as a hygiene student, if you are a hygiene student, and if you are a hygienist already and you want to create a YouTube channel, like you wanna actually physically show your audience a day in the life or what it's like to be where you are. So it's pretty much like a win-win, a give-give. You're inspiring your audience because that's what your audience wants. They wanna become a dental hygienist or they love dental hygiene life, right? So we're just giving our audience what they wanna see. Engage with your audience. I think that is like so important. <laughs> um, engaging with your audience is key. Giving your audience feedback and commenting back to your subscribers i think that is just why wouldn't you you know what i'm saying like that's what's gonna grow that trust and that bond with your audience like i don't have a big following but i love every single one of my youtube subscribers engaging with your audience is key it's telling your audience that you care about them it's telling your audience thank you so so much because this YouTube thing is not easy. I just feel like when you put in the work, it shows and your audience gives you that feedback. It's just so rewarding and you want to tell your audience, thank you so much. Like I'm telling you right now, thank you so much for subscribing. But you want to engage with your audience as much as possible and talk to them. You know, it's like a telephone. Tell them what's going on in dental hygiene. Um, tell them what you're looking forward to in the upcoming week, whether it's work, a patient. Obviously, you can't say, you know, your patient's name and all that, HIPAA regulations, but let them know what you're experiencing. Engage with your audience. It's super important, and I love you guys so much, so that's for you. Last but not least, tip number 10. Keep inspiring yourself and keep inspiring your audience. When you keep that flow of just loving what you do, loving what you're learning, loving your patients, loving everything about dental hygiene, you are going to see the, the rewards. And I think that is key. I mean, when they say love what you do or love what you do, it is super, super important. So if this is something that you want to take serious, please take it into consideration. Purchase a a dry erase board, a bulletin board, journal. Keep inspiring yourself because that's really what's gonna keep your YouTube channel growing. It takes so much time. I've been on YouTube since 2016 and I have you know X amount of followers or X amount of subscribers and it's not about the number, it's just about how much you're willing to put into the YouTube community and the YouTube world and just how much you really want this. Like this is something that I really want. It was very, very hard for me being a dental hygiene student and being on YouTube. I just couldn't do it. It was, dental hygiene school was very challenging for me and I've overcame, I've conquered, and I'm just so happy. So if I, you know, if I can do it, why can't you do it? And now that I have so much time on my hands that I can create content for you. It's just so inspiring and uplifting for me. It just motivates me more and more to produce content and to put content out there for you guys. So that's definitely one of my biggest tips. Let go of fear and just if this is something that you love and you really want to do, go ahead and do it. I am here to help you grow as a dental hygienist as a dental hygiene youtuber i support my dental hygiene people so much i love you guys so much and yeah thank you guys so much for subscribing and liking this video if you like more videos related to youtube and dental hygiene just comment down below guys uh, let me know what you guys want to see and yeah i love you guys so much the best 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 of luck to you and yeah comment down below let's get to know each other i love you guys and I will see you in my next video. Bye.